Welcome to Two Doctors Homestead. My name is Janet, and today I'm going to talk to you about stocking canned meats on your prepper pantry, and I'm going to give you some options on how you can do that and the prices that correlate with those options. Now, for today's purposes, I'm going to use canned chicken, and what I did is I have regular great value canned chicken. It's 12.5 ounces. I have a three pound bag of great value chicken breasts. And I have some canned chicken breasts that I pressure canned myself. So now we're gonna go through the prices of what it costs to actually get these products in the, into the state that we need them to be to be shelf stable. Now this is a ready-made product from Walmart. There's many different brands of it. Again, 12.5 ounces, and this can of chicken is going to cost you $3.18. In this can, there's 45.5 grams of protein. In this three-pound frozen chicken breast, this costs $9.74, and in this entire bag, there's 276 grams of protein. So what I did is I took this entire bag, or a bag that was just like this, and I pressure canned them into three individual pints. Now, when you pressure can in a pint, you get approximately one pound per pint, and if you go to the, the taller ones, the quarts, you'll get approximately two pounds. So I have three pounds of pressure canned chicken that is now shelf stable, and I used just a bag of frozen meat from Great Value, which cost me $9.74. Now in order to get three pounds of meat through here, through the cans, I'm going to need to figure out how I can get the same amount of grams of protein. And that's because this is packed in water, so the weight that you have, the 12.5 ounce weight, actually includes the water in here, not just the meat that you're going to consume. So in order to get 276 grams of protein like we got in our bag of frozen, we're going to need six of these cans to equal this one bag packaging is always bigger. This one bag of three pounds of chicken breast is going to equal these six cans of already pre-canned chicken for you. Now, these six cans of chicken is going to cost you $19.08 to purchase three pounds of already pre-canned chicken breast. If you buy the chicken breast, frozen, it's going to cost you $9.74. Now that's $10 more that you're paying for the convenience of having it canned already. And I know what you're saying, not everybody has a pressure canner. So I want to go through what the costs are to actually purchase a pressure canner so you can see that it's not as far off as you might think if you're on a budget. Now you can get a pressure canner at Walmart, a starting off pressure canner, I believe it was 12 quarts for $78. You can also get a case, which is 12 of these pints for $11.97. So that's gonna cost about a dollar a bottle for your initial investment. These are reusable. You, as long as you don't have any chips on the rim, it's gonna give you a good seal and there's no chips or cracks in the actual mason jar. You can continue to, these, to reuse these indefinitely you know, for the rest of your life and pass them on to other generations. I actually have mason jars from other generations of people in my family. Now when you pressure can, you should use a new a lid every time to get a nice correct uh, tight seal and you can buy lids for approximately 10 cents a piece so 10 cents for the lid is pretty much negligible so when you think about it the convenience of having your chicken already pre-done is going to cost you twice the amount, more than twice actually, the amount that it's going to cost you to just buy your frozen and can it yourself so in order to make up the cost of a pressure canner, you would only have to buy 12 pounds of chicken in cans. 
to be able to already pay off your pressure canner and break even. But if you have a pressure canner, you're going to pressure can way more things than just your canned chicken. You can do canned meats, you can do sauces, you, there's a lot of vegetables that aren't high acidity that require pressure canning. So a pressure canner really does open up the door for so many other things that you can purchase or that you can uh, make shelf stable and keep on your prepper pantry. So it is a thought. If you're looking for a way to build out your prepper pantry and to store meats that are going to be shelf stable, you can either take the convenience route, and the convenience route is going to cost you double of what it would do to actually buy it fresh yourself and can it yourself. So I hope that was helpful, and thank you for watching.